Dinosaur find, Velociraptor ancestor was winged dragon. Dr. Steve Bruza talks about the discovery of the winged dinosaur fossil. Scientists have discovered a winged dinosaur, an ancestor of the Velociraptor, that they say was on the cusp of becoming a bird. The 6 feet 6 in, 2 m, creature was almost perfectly preserved in limestone. Thanks to a volcanic eruption that had buried it in northeast China. And the 125 million year old fossil suggests many other dinosaurs, including velociraptors would have looked like big, fluffy killer birds. But it is unlikely that it could fly. An artist's impression of Janayuan Long shows how strange this feathered beast may have looked. The dinosaur has been named Janayuan Long, meaning Janayuan's dragon, in honor of the man who procured the fossil for the museum in Jinjo allowing it to be studied. The University of Edinburgh and the Chinese Academy of Geological Sciences collaboration is published in the journal Scientific Reports. Lead researcher Dr. Steve Brizet said it was the single most beautiful fossil I have had the privilege to work on. It has short arms, and it is covered in feathers with proper wings with layers of quill pen feathers, he said. Janayuan Long is an ancestor of the infamous Velociraptor. So even though this is a dinosaur, even though it is a close relative of Velociraptor, it looks exactly like a turkey or a vulture. Dr. John Nudds a senior lecturer in paleontology at the University of Manchester. Increasingly complex picture of emerging evidence that certainly a lot of dinosaurs and possibly even all of them had feathers or at least downy hair. Dr. Brizet said, it will blow some people's minds to realize that those dinosaurs in the movies would have been even weirder and I think even scarier, like big fluffy birds from hell. He said its large body made it unlikely Janayuan Long would have been able to fly. The complex feathers of the dinosaur's wings are beautifully preserved. So maybe wings did not evolve for flight, perhaps they evolved as a display structure. Or to protect eggs in the nest, he said. Or maybe this animal was starting to move around in the trees and was able to glide. Dr. Brizet said, China is the epicenter of paleontology right now. There are museum storerooms full of new dinosaur fossils that have never been studied before. He added, this is the most exciting time maybe in the history of paleontology.